Aditya, are you going to caution any student who comes to you? Uh, are you going to tell him what kind of hardships are involved or uh, are you going to not, not break the secret to him? So, I will give you three data points for this answer. And I will give you two real life examples. Okay. One real life example is a person comes to me, he came to me. Uh, he sent me a message that, Sir, I want to become a doctor, but daily listening to the news about violence against doctor, poor pay of doctor, commissioned, not poor pay, but let's say, poor pay commissioned to the amount of works that they do. Uh, and the working hours of the doctor, I feel dejected about it. Uh, and my interest in the medical field wanes. My interest in the medical field wanes. This is a 10 standard student. All right. So uh, I asked him, what is your primary goal to become a doctor? Why do you want to become a doctor? So he told me, because I want to make a lot of money. The second class is uh, he's honest with me because I want a lot of fame and I want a lot of money. Manika, you don't want to become a doctor because you like medical body. I like medical body also, but that uh, I like med I like medical body that definitely I like it more than ma probably maths. Uh, uh, I like make maybe I like maybe biology more than maths. But the reason I'm I'm thinking of medicine uh, is because I like biology and I want to make a lot of money. So I told uh, and I was like, what is your opinion towards maths? He's like, I can do it. Manika. And I said, uh, where do you come from? Like, you know, so he said, I come from a lower middle class income. So I told him that you, the doc, being a doctor won't make you rich. I simply told him that. Like Dr. Mishra said, it won't make you rich. If you want to come into become a, being a doctor because you want to become rich, it won't make you rich. Yes, you won't be deficient in money. Very true. You won't be deficient in money. You will have a good living standard. And I always said in the video, you will definitely be upper middle class according to Indian standards. But if you are coming into here to become rich, you won't become rich. Then he opened up. He said, sir, my primary motivation to become a doctor is to take my lower middle class family to a rich family. So I told him, if that is your primary motivation and whatever you said, bio person, there, mass body compass, and then this is all plus minus, then you're in the wrong profession. You will hate medicine. Then I have another person, an almost similar conversation I had with him. I said, why do you want to become doctor? The same thing I asked him, why do you want to become doctor? And he told me something that he, he was, uh, you know, uh, he had an accident at some point of time and uh, he got treated by a doctor. And since then there is, has been that kida in him. And he was sure that he has to petition a something related to uh, trauma surgery related. Hi karna hai. And he's like, are you willing to work these many hours, 36 hours in it, like in two days? He's like, I'm willing to do that. Banna yehi hai. I want to what I experienced too, I want to ensure other people don't like it. I did two current, two definitely current. You are the people who want to become doctors. You are the people who should become doctors. And the third no, data point I will give fascinating. These are two personal stories. And the third data point I'm going to give you talking about passion versus pragmatism, because this is where the debate is actually going to be pragmatic or to be passionate. In the last, uh, if you, if we look at, uh, top hundred ranks in NEET PG, and what they chose as branches, what they chose as branches, uh, as far as uh, uh, in the postgraduate section is concerned, top 100 ranks. Not even one person chose surgery. One person chose pediatrics. 50 people chose radiology. 40 people, 40 odd people chose medicine. And 9 odd people chose dermatology. I can say with guarantee, out of, the, out of these 100 people, the 40 who chose medicine, they were from day one. They were the 40 people who wanted to become doctor. They always wanted to become doctor. They could not imagine themselves doing anything else. They're, they're okay with the grind, everything. Nobody gets into the medical field to become a radiologist. Radiology is an excellent branch, but I know what a 10 standard 15 year old student is going through. You don't come to, you don't come to medicine to become a radiologist. Let's be very, very, until unless obviously, your father is a radiologist or your mother is a radiologist and you have a setup already and they, you know, then, then it is not a medical, then it's not a passion decision. Then again, it is a pragmatic decision. It's a business decision. Uh, who's going to take up the radiology setup and everything. Nobody joins medicine to become a radiologist. But if out of hundred people, 50 people are taking radiology, it is not out of passion. Let's call it how, how it is. It is out of pragmatism. And that hundred people give us a very important data point because this thing has been going for the past seven to 10 years already that 30 to 50 people end up taking radiology. It also gives us a very important, interesting percentage point. I can also say 
that probably 30 to 50 percent individuals, 30 percent, let's put it, let's put the number a little more conservatively, 30 percent of the individuals are not joining medicine for the passion of it. They're joining it for the money aspect of it. All right. And now when they look at it, they're like, okay, I want a work-life balance and I want to make good money also. And maybe I can not think about being a doctor in a traditional sense. They end up, they get a good rank and they end up taking, uh, they end up taking uh, radiology. I'm not taking dermatology into account because I know people who want to become cosmetologists, they, they can definitely have passion. But I can say for sure, nobody's coming into medicine on day one saying I want to become a radiologist. Uh, I think that's a very, very important insight. And uh, uh, that's okay, actually. That's not something uh, we were, we, we should uh, say that it, it is good, actually, if they are clear from I the definitely, beginning. I definitely, I definitely, people are, yes, people are aware about the fact that they want to take radiology because they get the work-life balance and the, the, oh, it is good that they take radiology instead of taking some other branch and then not liking that branch and not being passionate about mm -hmm. that branch. No, Adit, is going here is my, because their aspiration is not passion to go mm. and do something great or from mm. within, they want good life and they'll put up an ultrasound machine and that's it. That is all. And and it's a it's a very co good thing, And but but you do need good ultrasonologist also. So yeah, I definitely. Guess, I'm is, not, I'm not, yeah. uh, for anyone who's watching this video, please don't take that I'm saying anything against radiologists. Uh, no, no, it is I'm not. Talking, it, I'm talking from a 15, I'm talking from a 15 year old 10th yeah. standard, 11th standard student that in 11th and 12th standard, you are not aiming to become a radiologist. Exactly. When you think of yourself as a doctor, you don't think of yourself as a radiologist. You so want if, if to be a clinical, clinical doctor, yeah. basically. 